This is Ita, one of PTC's gene therapy scientists. And this is Ita's lab, where she studies human genes. Ita wonders, what if a therapy could treat more than just the symptoms of a rare genetic disorder? What if a therapy could address its underlying genetic cause? What if a therapy could replace or repair a body's defective gene? And what if this therapy could do it with a single treatment rather than a lifetime's worth of medication? Ida studies human genes. But what exactly are genes? Genes are found within our body's cells, and they're made up of our DNA. DNA stands for deoxyribonucleic acid, and it's kind of like our body's built-in manual. The DNA in our genes tells our body what our traits are. The genetic characteristics pass down from parents to children, like skin, hair, and eye color, as well as how the body should function. Genes also provide the instructions by which our body makes its building blocks, or proteins. These proteins help support our important functions, like how to digest food, how to make energy, and how to grow. Genes don't always work the way they were intended. Sometimes there can be an alteration within a gene, called a genetic mutation. This can cause our body to make too much or not enough of these proteins, which can hurt our bodies and alter some of our body's functions. That's why genetic disorders often lead to problems with eating, sleeping, moving, growing, or even living. That's also why scientists study genes, to learn how to replace or repair the ones that don't quite work right. Gene therapy is a way to treat the diseases that are caused by genetic mutations. Doctors take a new working copy of a defective or missing gene to make up for the gene that is missing or broken. When the new working gene is in place, the body's DNA can start providing the correct instructions again and make the necessary proteins. It's possible the body can then resume important functions such as digesting food, making energy, and even growing. Scientists like Ida don't know how far gene therapy can take us when it comes to treating rare and serious genetic disorders. But we do know we are determined to find out.